Morning in South Africa from the East Coast of South Africa. This is Chris. Is it a new day? Is it a new dawn? Well, here in KwaZulu-Natal, an interesting coalition is taking shape. Stay with us now as we discover the latest coalition attempt on the East Coast. Just mere hours before South Africa must swear in the parliament on Friday, June 14th, 2024, after the seismic historic elections of May 29th, we've yet to discover what the potential government of national unity or coalition will look like going forward or whether the ANC will try to go along alone in a minority government. But here in KwaZulu-Natal, a very interesting development is taking place. After the upstart and Kontoui Sizwe party, which is more a vanity project in vaporware than an actual political party, won 45% of the vote in this province, it seems that other parties are working very hard to take the remaining 55% to keep MK party out of power in the provincial legislature. African National Congress, the Democratic Alliance, the Nkata Freedom Party, and the once larger breakaway party, but now down to just one seat in the legislature, the NFP, the National Freedom Party, former IFP members, are the kingmakers because they can go with those other three parties and keep MK out of governance. The MK party won 37 seats in the 80 seat provincial legislature, legislature here in KZN. The EFF was destroyed here, utterly obliterated in KZN and has no influence whatsoever. With the EFF of Julius Blame and now down just over 2% in the province, they only bring two seats to the party. Unfortunately for MK, you need 41 to outright majority. 40 is half, 41. So 37 they won with 45% of the vote in the province. Massive, huge turnout for them. And then two from the EFF means those two parties can't get together and govern this province. The EFF, interestingly of note, is being kept out of the discussions to form a coalition in opposition, but as a majority. Now that's an interesting development. Not a single large party. The MK party, 45%. Then the IFP, the Inkata Freedom Party, comes second with over 18% of the vote. Then comes the ANC with 17%. Then comes the DA with around 13%. Not enough, the three of them, but they'll add the one seat from the NFP that would give them a majority. So, what happens in KZN going forward? This may, folks, be the most interesting of all of the coalitions or potential coalitions that form, because this one is clearly setting the stage for what's likely happening at the national level to keep MK and EFF out of governance, despite the rebellion taking place in the National Executive Committee of the ANC, clearly there isn't much taste for any sort of coalition or government or national unity that includes the MK and or the Economic Freedom Fighters. I think it's a fascinating development and we'll keep track of that as things go forward. Friday, 10 o'clock in the morning, Parliament will be sworn in, then they'll vote for a president and a speaker and a deputy speaker. So lots to happen here as we approach the, well, it's been two weeks since the election, but two weeks since the announcement of the results is coming up. So they keep moving the dates around. Originally, the swearing in was scheduled for Monday, which is a holiday, strange day, the 17th of June, but it's been back, moved back to Friday, the 14th of June. And the swearing in was supposed to be on the 22nd, which meant that if by some miracle, the Bulls beat Leinster and Munster loses, the URC final would be in South Africa. Well, now that the inauguration is being moved forward to the 17th, or the 18th, June to the 18th, then maybe Loftus could host a final. That would be incredible for South Africa, and one would hope that it sold out completely. We're not there. Lots to happen between now and then. The Bulls have got to get the job done, and they weren't that impressive against Benetton, so they have to up their game to beat Leinster at home. But Leinster doesn't have a good track record in South Africa, so fingers crossed, Strukadi Dalman, we'll see what happens if the Bulls can pull it off. But then Munster has to lose as well because the Bulls came second on the log. Munster at home against Glasgow. They're tough. Looks like the final will probably not be in South Africa this year. Well, let's wait and see. Meanwhile, here's the bigger story. What is happening in South Africa? We are going to have odd coalitions in Gauteng, where no party got the majority. The ANC managed just 35% of the vote, losing a huge number of votes in that province. Unbelievable. And here in KZN, where no party got the majority. And other parties are working in concert, according to informed sources at News24, that they're working in concert to keep MK and EFF out of government here. Wow. That could be potentially some good news for residents of this province, which has been suffering under ANC rule for a long time. Perhaps 
as the second largest party, they would show some humility. Maybe I'm just being a little, a little too optimistic that they'll show humility. After all, the ANC really doesn't know what humility is. Anyway, folks, reporting from the east coast of South Africa on the pending coalition here in KwaZulu-Natal. This is Chris. Be safe. Take care of yourself. Treat each other well. Don't take any wood nickels. They don't work in the slot machines. God bless, and we'll catch you later. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to hit that subscription button and join us right here on Chris White Reports, where you get cogent, insightful, intelligent, and objective analysis. Not unbiased. Everyone's got their bias, but objective. Cheers.